continuity. Here's the layman's term definition of continuity. A function is continuous if it has no holes, breaks, or asymptotes. That's pretty much it. If you can graph it by not picking your pencil off the paper, you would say it's continuous. So that, that's what we're talking about. So uh, continuity says curves continuous. If it doesn't have any holes or breaks or asymptotes, Now, would you like me to give you a more precise definition than that? Holes, breaks, and asymptotes? Yeah. Yeah. That's understandable, right, though? Hopefully. It doesn't have any holes in it. It doesn't have a gap. And it doesn't have any asymptotes in it. That, that if you don't have those things, then it's continuous everywhere. If you do have those things, it would be continuous most places, just not at those specific points. Here's what continuity is mathematically, though. So more specifically, a function is continuous if... Three things happen. First, oh, sorry, you know what, and let me say uh, at a point. I need to add that on there, otherwise it's not going to really make a lot of sense. So continuous at a point C if, so continuous at point C if, firstly, I hope this makes sense to you. Firstly, if the function is defined at that point, this has to exist. How can you have continuity if the point doesn't exist? Does that make sense to you? So it's, it, we'd say it's continuous at some point, C, if you can plug in C and you get out of point. That's what that says in English. So if f of C is defined. You plug in C, you get out of point. That's what that means. Number two. Number two, the limit has to exist at that point. So that means that the function is from, the bo from both sides around point C. Remember point C is like your input, right? Around point C, the function is going, no matter what, to the same spot. Does that make sense? It can't go like this. That wouldn't be continuous because you have that jump. You with me? So the limit has to exist and around that point C. So not only does C have to be fine, have to be defined, the limit of f of x as x approaches C must exist <coughs> and thirdly this thing has to equal this thing Function f is continuous at point A or at point C if three things happen. Firstly, the point exists. What this means again, last time, is if you plug in C, you get something out. Secondly, the limit exists. That means the function is going to the same place from left to right as you approach C. Thirdly, where you approach is this point. That's what that says. Where you approach is that point. So it means the function is going to a point, the point exists, and it's right between where the, the function is going. Okay, that's, that's what that says. If that happens, what that means is you go along your function, you get to a point, you fill in the point, you keep on going. Make sense? So there's no hole there. There's no asymptote. Um, and that, that also works for asymptotes, right? Even the limit existed in infinity, there's no point at infinity saying you would have a break. You can't make that little jump. 
Let me give you some pictorial examples on, on what this looks like. You ready for it? So. <coughs> Let's try to apply this, the question I'm going to ask you to, to this over here, what I told you about continuity. So number one, uh, does the point exist at x equals c? Is there a point there? No. So already we fail, number one. That right there says you're not going to be continuous because you fail, number one. Uh, is number two satisfied, though? Does the limit exist? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, it's going to the same value from left to right. So limit's there. But when you ask this question, is the limit equal to the function value? No, because it, it, there's a hole. It's not even there. So there is no point. Number one fails, and therefore number three fails. This is not continuous. So we'd say it's not continuous, wait, all over the place? Is it not continuous all over the place? Not continuous at C. At C. Is it continuous here? Yes. Absolutely. Actually, most of this function is continuous. It's just that little point that's not continuous. What this is called when you have a hole. Remember talking about holes? It's called a removable discontinuity. So this is not continuous at C. And we call it a removable discontinuity. What that basically says is you have a hole. A removable discontinuity is a discontinuity that you could fill in with a single point. Let's try another one. <laughs> Let's check our three necessities for our limit to uh, for our function to be continuous at a point C. Firstly, is number one satisfied? Do we have a point at C? Yes. yes, we do. Is number two satisfied? Does a limit exist? No. Limit exists says we're going to the same spot. It means it has to look like this to get it. Does it look like that? It looks like this, right? That's a problem. So does this side meet up with this side? If it doesn't, then the limit doesn't exist. So is number two satisfied? No. If number two is not satisfied, Number three can't possibly be satisfied because this is non-existent. So this fails continuity. So we'd say, yeah, this is not continuous at C, for sure, it's not continuous. Uh, but is it a removable discontinuity or not? No, even if I put another point up there, it's not going to make a difference, right? I'm not going to be able to continue my function with one single point. This one I could. Just put it right there, you, you're, you're good to go. It's like uh, filling in the hole. But here you can't do that. This is not removable. This is like a jump continuity. You're jumping from point to point, or from uh, one part of the function to another. Jump continuity or discontinuity? I don't know what, if they call it a jump continuity in your book. It might. But that's what you're, you're doing is you're jumping. So we'll say that's a jump discontinuity. This one's removable discontinuity. How about this one? Let's check our three statements. Number one, is the function defined at point C? Is the function defined at point C? Yeah. Really? Defined? You can plug in C and get a point? No. Uh, yeah. What if I did this? We said, okay. There. Is the function defined at point C? Yes. Yes, it is now. There is a point. You plug in C, you get that specific point. You with me? Does the limit so number one is satisfied. Is number two satisfied? Does the limit exist? Are you going to the same spot from left to right? Going to infinity. Yes, limit exists. So number one is satisfied. 
and number two is satisfied. Would you agree with that? Yeah. This is why we need number three. Is number three satisfied? Does the limit equal the value of the function? The limit equals infinity. The value of the function equals this right here. Are those the same thing? No. So number three fails. So we've had a case where number one fails, where number two fails, and now where number three fails. So you, you see those, those examples, yes? This is called infinite discontinuity. So we'll say this is at infinity, or infinite. <laughs> Hey, what about this one? What if I put a point, if I, if I put a point up here but it didn't close in the circle, would that be continuous at that point? No, it would still jump. That's still a removable discontinuity though if I redefine the point. So if I say, okay, you know what, I'm just going to move this point from here to here, redefine it, then we'd say that's still a removable discontinuity. How many people understand the different terms that we, that we have here? So basically we have three different uh, kinds of discontinuities. Those that have asymptotes, those that are, are jumps, and those that are holes. We mostly deal with these two. This one would be like a piecewise function. We, we are mostly over here when we're dealing with rational functions. Uh, that's usually what we have. Stuff we can cross out. What should we have that? Stuff we can cross out uh, where we get rid of the, the problem in our limit and stuff that we can't cross out where we do a sign analysis test. I've showed you both of those things before. Do you remember them? All right. Shall we check? Let's check some functions to see if we can tell whether they're continuous or not. Are there any questions about our, our necessities for continuity here or these graphs over here? Okay. Yes? When you said that, when you have the point on the first one, sure. uh, below the hole, yeah. and you said you could move it up to the hole, but it did. We'd have to, well, not move it up to the hole. We're redefining. We're saying, this would be a piecewise function right now, or some very special function. We redefine this in some way so that this is no longer here, but it fits in that hole. That's called the removal of discontinuity. We've removed this point and placed it in the hole, basically. We've redefined it somehow. But keep in mind, you are redefining your function just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to ask, are these following functions continuous at x equals 2? Let's see. 